time for a video. I've been on vacation. Me and my lovely girlfriend were in Maine and Vermont and New Hampshire. But we're back now. Back with a video showing you how to make $15,000 a year selling right here. Boom. Old Guitar Hero guitars. Now it's relatively simple. You see right here I've got uh, probably about 25 when it's all said and done stacked up under there. There's some more package back there. Uh, but this is about a month, a month, maybe five weeks of sourcing for me. And you can get these guitars uh, at Salvation Armies, Goodwills, uh, garage sales. Now the great thing about these, and, and garage sales especially, is when you find one or two of them, you'll probably find like five. Because if it's a family, uh, they're going to have multiple guitars. Ideally, they're going to love the game so much that they'll buy multiple guitars uh, on multiple systems for multiple games even maybe uh, and as a result because of that kind of community behind Guitar Hero you have lots and lots of different models um, everything from Wii controllers to PS2 controllers to wireless PS2 controllers and because of that you have a very very uh, healthy product that oftentimes because of um, the variance in models is not going to have a lot of competition Another great thing about Guitar Hero guitars is how easy they are to prep. Some of them are going to fall apart uh, in two, oops, like, like so, um, and you just pull out the, uh, the frets or whatever it is, the neck of the guitar, and what I do is I just take some stretch wrap and wrap it around there. Uh, likewise, sometimes it's going to be a, a one-piece guitar. These are the PS2 wireless guitars. I don't have the dongle on these. The dongles themselves, which is, um, they look kind of like this. Uh, they're a little bit different uh, for the PS2. This little small, small piece right here. Those sell very well by themselves as well. But if you don't have that, you can still sell these um, for between $25 and up to $80. Uh, if you can, I'm gonna show you, let's see if I can find, oh man, there's, um, just a minute. Well, here it is. Look at this, look how weird compared to your average Guitar Hero guitar that is. That's because this is a, a Hofner bass guitar for rock band. When I say Guitar Hero guitars, I mean rock band or Guitar Hero guitars. I just call them Guitar Hero guitars because it's easier and like they all look the same. But this thing, rare stuff like this, uh, there's some games that had guitars that came out with them, like uh, some of the band packs. Like the Beatles band pack had a, a certain Paul McCartney Les Paul guitar, I think, that sells for around 100 bucks if you have the dongle with it. Um, the great thing about these, though, is they're they're rare. And around um, the thi another thing about guitar hero guitars is you don't want to auto price these. Uh, sometimes people will buy lots of like 50 or 100, and the price will drive down. But the sales rank is so low on these that you, you don't want to play a race to the bottom because inevitably they're going to sell out. Some of these guitars, you list them like, like a wireless PS2 guitar or a wired PS2 guitar, it's going to sell, if it's prime, you know, in two days, three days. Uh, the PS4 guitars, not so much. The profit on those, you can really almost get down to like $0 profit uh, if you do auto pricing or repricing, which is not good. You don't want that. Uh, so what I do, I put those at 35 and just let them sit. Uh, most of my used items, I do reprice, but not these, just because of the velocity at which they sell, it doesn't make sense, especially given that people are putting up lots of 50 or 100. Um, it just doesn't make sense to, to play race to the bottom. That being said, I will never stray away from listing these. I did the math, and I've sold 177 guitars in the past six months. That's not including... Not including at all the Christmas rush. And on these guitars, I've made, on average, about $36 profit. That's not revenue, that's profit. That's a big number. Over a year, doing that kind of, uh, that, those kind of numbers, you're going to make almost $13,000 selling these. Selling items that you can buy for $5, $4.99, $6.99. These are just, uh, as long as you're not racing to the bottom, these are just cash cows. One more piece of advice before I go. If you're gonna FBA Guitar Hero guitars, make sure you got a box like this. It's so big I can hardly even get it. In, oh shit. Yeah, there we go. It's so big I can hardly even get it in the frame. And that's because Guitar Hero guitars, while even when you break them down, they're only about 18 inches long, they qualify as oversized goods. These are gonna be oversized goods for Amazon, so you're gonna have to send them all to one warehouse 
Um, and these, like these right here, these don't break down and they're not gonna fit in an extra large uh, Home Depot or Lowe's box. I mean, they will fit, but you're not gonna fit more than four or five. But like this, you can fit 25 in here, maybe even more. Uh, and that's really a good money saving tip. You don't wanna be sending out 25 uh, 12 pound FBA boxes to Amazon when you could do one. And that's really it. That's um, selling guitars is very, very simple. Selling these guitars, not real guitars, uh, is very simple. And if you do it right, you know, including a healthy holiday rush, it's not crazy to make 20 grand a year selling Guitar Hero guitars. That would be somebody who is really, really hustling. But if you go around and you've got 10 or 15 good Salvation Armies and you get some good, uh, some good garage sale hauls, selling 300 of these, 400 of these a year isn't out of the question. Uh, if you do sell that or have any better tips on a package, then this is just what I do. I haven't had any complaints yet. But leave a comment below. And if you like making money, these videos, all the ones I make, are exactly for you.